Hello, I'm Claire Cortez, and today I'm joined by Dr. Rudy of drrudy.com, and we are going to be discussing Dr. Rudy edible oils. Hi, Dr. Rudy. Hi. So tell me about these oils. Well, uh, for many years, I, I've been writing and formulating with various oils, but in this case, uh, I, I decided to actually create an oil that would be healthy, would be stable, would taste good, and, and contain the omega-3s, the omega-6s, and the omega-9s, which, which would balance out your diet. And I've just completed a book, not yet published yet, about edible oils. And what I mean by edible oils, these would be cooking oils, it would be salad oils, uh, it would also include the oils that are in fish, uh, plant-based oils, and, and, and the book covers very, uh, maybe 50 or 60 different kinds of oils, the potential health benefits, also the cautions associated with the consumption of certain oils. And during the process of writing the book, I decided to also create a edible oil, a salad oil, cooking oil, which I think has all the features and benefits that would uh, do a lot of good in the, in the marketplace. So what's in this oil? Well, uh, first of all, uh, you might have heard about some of the scandals going on about olive oil, uh, particularly out of Italy where uh, canola oil has been substituted for olive oil. Uh, some of it is through a criminal element and then they add chlorophyll to it to make it look like extra virgin olive oil. So what I decided to do was to source all the oil components from California. And so what oils are in this okay. edible oil? So uh, the oils that are in this are in, in order of magnitude. So California olive oil, and, and this is extra virgin olive oil, which is, by the way, yellow. Um, then uh, California grapeseed oil, uh, uh, and this is made by the third generation Gallo family because grape seeds are a byproduct of making wine. And uh, we harvest those uh, grape seeds and then press the oil out of them. And then the last component is avocado oil. And uh, all three of those oils are yellowish to yellow green. And then I added astaxanthin to them, which makes the oil slightly pink. Okay. So why, why are these oils so different than the regular olive oil I buy at the supermarket? Okay, well, uh, first of all, uh, I, I think I need to explain why the oil is pink. And that is that uh, about seven years ago, I did a video with Dr. Mercola about edible oils and salad oils. And I said that people should take their olive oil that they buy, uh, buy inexpensive olive oil, make sure it's from Italy or California, we know it's good from California, and then add one drop of astaxanthin to it from a supplement, and it'll turn pink like this. And um, when that pink color goes away and the oil is just yellow, throw it away. This astaxanthin is an antioxidant, and it acts as an indicator for rancidif rancidification of oil. So, the reason why we have these three components is that olive oil is mostly omega-9. Omega-9, contrary to popular opinion, is not a vitamin. Why is the Mediterranean diet so good? Well, it's not because omega-9 makes you healthier. It's because you're avoiding eating the oils that are bad for you. Okay? so. It has mostly olive oil in it. It's over 50% olive oil. Then uh, the grapeseed oil, which is mostly omega-6, but omega-6, if it was pure omega-6, would not be healthy because omega-6 can cause inflammation in the body. They gotta be balanced with omega-3 or diluted somehow to make them less, uh, a, a smaller part of your, your diet. And then the avocado oil is also very high in omega-9s, has a little bit of omega-3. Grapeseed oil has a little bit of omega-3 ALA in it. And too much omega-3, you wind up with a off taste. So this oil tastes very good. It's got astaxanthin in it for stabilization and also uh, for indicating of rancidification. 
And if an oil goes rancid in this version, you can see how nice orange wow. pink this is. And it will be in a 300 milliliter bottle. This is a Perrier bottle, but this, the actual bottle will be square bottle, 300 milliliters. You don't want to buy big bottles of oil because it, it, it will go rancid. And this is going to be very good for cooking because it has a smoke point of over 400 degrees. And if you're using Dr. Rudy's edible oil for cooking, frying, etc., or just pan frying, just like all oils, never put the oil in the pan and then heat the pan. Heat the pan, get ready to put in the oil. When you put the oil in, immediately put whatever you want to cook in the pan, and then the temperature of the oil will go down immediately, so you're not smoking the oil. Because when you smoke oil, when the oil starts smoking, it makes chemicals that you don't want in your body. It'll also be good for salad oil. Now, I recommend, I don't recommend creamy salad dressings, uh, mainly because, uh, well, culturally, I grew up with oil and vinegar, but oil and vinegar is very healthy. Vinegar is a great biocide. It'll kill any germs that are on, on the salad. Remember that the next time you go to a salad bar. Always have vinegar on your salad. And uh, so oil and vinegar, this Dr. Rudy's oil, and vinegar, and you can choose balsamic or red wine vinegar or regular uh, white vinegar. And we think this is a fantastic product that has the right balance of oils. It has the right stability of oils. And it has a beautiful indicator that tells you when to throw it out. Right, exactly, which most people I don't think know that. Yeah, and olive oil will go rancid. Uh, olive oil, once you open it, has a shelf life of about maybe 60 days. So this will tell you when it's time to change out your oil. Perfect. Thank you so much, Dr. Rudy. I look forward to trying this. I really do, because I too am a fan of olive oil and, and vinegar on my yeah, salads. Yeah. And I cook with oils all the time. So thank you so much. Thank you.